This is a story you, our viewers, demanded we cover, and we have. We listen to you. It's slaughter time again in Japan, and now the outrage is going global and viral. Dolphins being rounded up and slaughtered in Taiji, Japan's infamous cove. Hundreds of dolphins corralled into this area, nicknamed Butcher's Cove. Every year, captured, then sold into captivity or just slaughtered. The Japanese government refuses to ban the dolphin slaughter, which runs from now to March. Supporters of the hunt say American objections are hypocritical because of the billions of animals raised in the United States in inhumane conditions in factory farms and slaughtered every year. Japan's critics insist dolphins aren't even consumed, arguing they contain dangerous levels of mercury. Uh, they say, well, this is senseless slaughter. To me, it's a bizarre debate about which slaughter is less or more horrific. All slaughter is horrific. Straight out to my very special guest, Rick O'Berry, director of Dolphin Project. Rick, we know the first group of dolphins has already been rounded up. Do you know how many have been slaughtered so far? Well, they brought in uh, for three days uh, Riso's dolphin, uh, maybe 30 or 40 of them. We don't know for sure. Uh, they cover things up so well now. Their, their circle is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It's getting more difficult for us to live stream. Last year, okay, just last year, uh, this, this beautiful albino uh, that we're going to show you was torn from her mother, and she was nicknamed Angel. Now, she's supposedly being held in a museum. Uh, her net worth, because of her rare, rare beauty, it's been estimated at half a million dollars. So critics say, well, they slaughter the regular dolphins, but what they do is they handpick the cute ones and sell them to aquariums for tons of money. So aquariums, uh, really, that whole idea that you're going to keep these animals in, in little pens and people can have fun with them, that's really, in your opinion, Rick, the bottom line of the problem? Yeah, it is. It's about supply and demand. And as long as people continue to buy tickets for dolphin shows, we're going to have this abuse. We're going to have these captures and the slaughter. It's all connected.